Hey guys, Nudibultra here. Welcome back to the channel. Bringing you a new video of NCAA 25 here, playing this on my uh, PS5 and on my 2024 LG 45 inch ultra wide OLED. As we're getting started here, uh, usually I would note settings, especially with my PC videos, but there's really not many settings you can change here. Uh, I guess the one things of potentially note, I just want to put them here. I think it's under accessibility. Yes, uh, I did. I have moved the uh, brightness up here, just the highest. Uh, but again, that's really, the, really the only thing you can adjust in contrast to higher. Now, I want to go and note here a few things to start the video. I mean, first and foremost, um, if you are new to the channel, I make two versions of every video: a POV version and screen recorded version. Depending on the video you're watching right now, you can find the alternate video linked in the description. Also, again, I know obviously playing console game on ultra wide here. Now, I this I wouldn't say this is obviously the primary way of playing. If you are a uh, again primarily a console gamer, now for me in my case, I mean I'm primarily PC, which is how I leverage an ultra wide. And so really, this is more a demonstration of what the screen looks like if you're watching the POV video uh, for well console gaming on this monitor, which I think looks fantastic. I mean brightness and image and everything just look uh, again just really great. Now we're jumping in here, Notre Dame Dynasty. Going to go ahead and see if we can continue the streak going against Georgia Tech. Now, as we're jumping here and getting things ready for the game, also want to note a few other things. Uh, if you are a member of the channel, you get early access to this and all of my videos. I also, in that early access, you can watch them with no ads. So I, I really appreciate it if you do check out the membership section. And then also, if you're curious about anything in my setup, Amazon links are down in the description of my videos. It's links to everything in my setup. Uh, I get commission off those, but I do greatly appreciate it if you check them out. Now, readying up here, like I said, we're going to Georgia Tech here for this dynasty. And yeah, let's just go ahead, jump in, get started, and see how we do. Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral site showdown. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now, when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a team from the ACC, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. All right, let's jump in. Now, this is super cool. One of the other things, many things I, I just absolutely love about the presentation and everything of this game is something like this, right? These neutral set games here, in this case, playing in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I mean, just so awesome. And these these alternate away uniforms look so clean. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Irish offense will take the field to start this game. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around. Oh, come on, get their oh. All right, we're going to go a little, and that makes a little quick so here. To defend, but if the lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all oh, get through, get through, get through. Okay, good. Knocked down at the 31 after right, a run pass off. option. What do we got? No. Ah, oh, I should have. That's fine. I can bounce around the outside. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. These RPO runs, they're like body blows. I like them because it just sort of chips away. He get around on the outside. He should be good. Kind of games all game long. You keep running the football this way. Nice. Good blocks. You're gonna keep driving this defense back. So keep at it with the RPO. Game. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. All right. Getting a good running game established. I want to see if I can throw them off a little bit here. Use the play fake now to throw. Looking to the beautiful. Wide open downfield. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, they come up with a huge play. They're going to be down in the red zone now, and I think David, the mentality changes a little bit for a defense. Um, you know what? Play action field. again. Yeah, the field shrinks. Now it becomes a little bit. You know, down in that red area, but giving up the big pack. Nice. Good drive. And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on him. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's 
so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And Keep going, got a kickoff here. Now, hopefully, just some, in my last game here in the Dynasty, I played against Stanford. That was, for some reason, my defense was just completely off. It was a, just a shootout for that game. It was uh, uh, overall, I mean, I don't know. I, I, my passing defense was just terrible. Hopefully, I can get a little bit better with that. Let's come in with the blitz here. Nice. Good breakup. Okay. Ooh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? Looking for a block. It's locked. Ooh, nice. Get a block, get a block, get a block. They were playing with fire on that return, and he got loose for a good return of better than 30 yards. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. You know what? It's going to be the same play again that we got a touchdown on. Let's see how we do here. Do a little. Really well. Nice. Balance on nice. One, block at the block. The expressway is wide open. Nice. See if our defense can hold up. And he'll again, I, I have a, I, I'm doing very well against the rush in this dynasty, but again, my passing defense is it's very weak. Has been. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick. Good. Until you find that play or that scheme that you can use. All right, we're going to stick with cover. Th Actually, you know what? Switch to two. Looking to pass. It's King. Got his hand in the middle. And his molars are probably rattling after that big hit, but he did get the first down. Here, it's coming with a blitz. Let's see if I can stop. I have a feeling they're going to try to run this again. Nice, good. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. All right, how about this uh, offense? You think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top 10 passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought out the goal. Wait, what the? Oh, come on, play the ball. What are you doing? And really was ready for ah, man. Obviously, I'm still trying to get used to coverage defense in this and just getting responsive to it. Um, man, I could have had that interception. I should have. Okay, let's go overload and see if we can stop them here. Come on. Alright, we're going to keep with the blitz. They're going to probably try to come at me with this. 
really easy on the defensive line. I just got knocked over. Now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. Ball marked at the 26. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Good block. It's Singleton. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. But, oh, good catch. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. Oh, get him. Good, good. Not terrible. Let's see. The same thing. Zone blitz. To avoid negative plays, continue to put stress on the defense. Ooh, see, I gotta stop doing that. I think the one thing I'm also I need to get used to more is the uh, is the switch stick in certain scenarios. But I keep getting, I keep looking at a different, basically a different character, a different different defensive player that I think I'm switching to, and then don't, because um, I, I I didn't think it was gonna switch me over to the. Uh, uh, to the safety there. I thought it was going to switch me to the backer for the tackle. They put it in the end zone with a 12-way scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Here come the Irish back on offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown Ooh. drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And All right, same thing. Speed it up. You played a lot of plays. You get worn out. You need a chance to. Oh, whoa! Where did that come from? And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. That wasn't good at all. Lining up to convert third down. All right, let the play form should be good. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Fires to the wideout. Ah, you gotta come down with it. I tried to throw an eye. We are through one quarter. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. All right, time to punt. Up to punt it away. We don't, don't. Don't go too crazy with it. All right, we're good. Nice. You make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Ramblin' Wreck offense rolls back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything good tackle, good defense. Down the field. Didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Oh, that was weird. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down. We're going to bring a blitz here. On the same page, gets the first down. Nice. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPL, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Got a man in the middle. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to Good, stop the rush. The rest of this game. Yeah, right now I'm just getting all the... They're just passing all over me right now. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
And listen, it's tough. It's a tough proposition. This is a top 10 defense against the run. You know they're physical. You know who they are. But you're not going to bat an eye. And you're going to challenge your guys, especially in the red zone, to be more physical, to, to be able to continue to run the football. Stop. Good. Really good All right. Keep doing a field goal. That's fine. is currently ahead in this one but they may need to rev up an f-16 if they want to turn this into a blowout. thought i could have gotten through there all right can i keep the drive up we can do it we are the eyes and ears of the college football fan and we've got you covered all day here in studio guys oh get through oh man that was a good run we're gonna we're gonna run again they're not set they're not set beautiful Not good. Oh, I should have committed and went inside. RPO here. What are we going to do? Nope. Get the block. Oh, what? Man, what was he doing? He was right there for that. Terrible, terrible idea. Oh, I'm so lucky with that. Alright, right there. Uh, yeah, maybe a little more. Not too hard. Eesh, too much. Ah, that wasn't good. That wasn't good either. Alright, see if we can stop him again. Get to him. Nice. trying to do what their game plan is now you get to go into phase two good good rush defense all right come on we gotta keep him in here nice good sack all right, hold on, we're going to call timeout. All right, come on, I got to finish this, finish the half off. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. First down here for the offense. Let's see. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Oh, come on. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground. That wasn't good at all. After the misfire, it's all right, we're going to see if we can shake him right there. Dropping back, it's Leonard. Coming oh, whoa. Oh, I had, I could have gotten so many yards there. Ah, uh, that's so frustrating. Terrible throw. Oh, man. I was off to a hot start, too, and now we're just just dropping the ball. Something together here. Yeah, David Paddock 
execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit. On this that was my coverage. Oh, come on, dude. Get the tackle. That's so frustrating. And I can't believe that. 14-0, and now we're here. All right. Come on, gather. Gather the team. We can do this. Got a minute left. Man, okay, those are the tackles that get so frustrating. There's, I, I, in my opinion, there's no way he gets that. Said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Unloads to the wide out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big mm. play. Trying to find Whoa. his man on first down. Going You're down wide open. Come on, get it. Play. Beautiful. And he makes the catch. Get it, get it. Nice. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And they take it in for six more points. And coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top ten offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've Oof, that was close. I was staring down a sack right there. Point. They take a 21-17 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 58 All right, well, I'm glad we can end the half that way now. We just need to shut them down for these 28 seconds. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. To the air, it's King. He finds his man. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Last play to stop him. He's looking to throw it. Finds his tight end. Good. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. Man. All right, this is a tighter game than I was, I was hoping it would be. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. Right, here we go. All right, hold him. Got to do it. Kick it off to start the second half. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. They ought to have some confidence based on that first half performance, but they certainly can't let up in a game like this. And Ooh, good catch. Possession is really, really important. I say that because they had a lot of success, but they're still losing because the defense can't stop anyone. They need to set the tone here in the second half. And it's exactly that, David. You got to create momentum here. Nice, good second. tackle. You can only do that by going out, marching the ball down the field, and scoring right away, trying to put pressure on the opposing offense. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wants to throw. It's Kane. They're working that left side. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive. All right, you know what? We're going to come in with a blitz this time. And the Yellow Jackets will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. 
And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's going to pass on second down. Good Once tackle. Again, Singleton. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. They go to the draw. I didn't think they were going to go for that or go with the draw at least. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The All right, we finally got to stop. Now we just got to get some points on the board. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. Here come the Irish, back on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. Ooh, he blocked it right it's into really me. Important for them moving forward All right, rush, come on. Right, you want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this. Their defense is heads. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Over. That was close. Yeah. Oh, good. And he may get more. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Keep running. Just keep the shotgun now. keep running. Good. And a good We're going to rush. The cuts him down. Got six on first down. All right, play action. See what we can do. Come on. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Oh, get out of the way. Aw, oh, dude. I was going to run out the middle, but he was standing there. Down he goes. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Did he catch that? Beautiful catch. Hmm. Maybe. No, we're going to try it. He'll keep it himself. Hold the block. Beautiful. Oh, dude. I thought he was going to hold that block. Oh, man. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. RPO. So the says, you know what? I'll hmm. just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Nope, nope, hold it, hold it. Ooh. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. I like the decision there in the RPO game, too, guys. And only only got a couple of yards, but that play's going to open up bigger opportunities. Throwing the All right, come on, hold the block. The Get the blocks. Too, so Good. Nice. All right, building the lead back up again. That's, that's as long as it's two possession game. That's that's what helps. is currently ahead in this one, but they may need to rev up an F-16 if they want to turn this into a blowout today. Well, get it. Oh, wait, did I get it? Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Okay, this can change it. Right as I was hit too. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling your rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a little nice. touchdown fighting Irish. And they take it in for six more points. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this week eight showdown. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. Good job here. To cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Now, let's hold on to this lead. I was very lucky with the fumble. That's definitely switched momentum around. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. 
They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. What the? Oh, you gotta finish that tackle. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10 yard gain. All right, overload blitz here. Oh. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And the Yellow Jackets come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll Beautiful. Their All right, we're stopping the run. We're doing well there. It's just we're getting past them. And let's go. I gotta be honest. I am shocked at just how well the defense has played in this game, especially stopping the run. We talked about statistically how they've struggled this season but they have put the clamps down in this one and they're just playing with a ton of intensity and they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game guys this offense is already reeling down multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive got good coverage now the play fake. throws to the wide out ah uh. finds a man in the middle and they got the defense on that one and they get it to the 29 yard line Jackets moving quickly to the line. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route run. Got the run. Oh, fumble again. Ooh, lucky. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. As a defense, you just want to steal some possessions, create some turnovers. You force the fumble. But man, what a break. Good. Okay, run defense is, is stout right now. Just get a little bit frustrated because it's just the luck of a bounce this has got to be disappointing if you're the offense guys you were expecting that right, blitz is coming but i'm going to hold the coverage against this defense which has struggled so much this season but just beautiful beautiful jump he can be dangerous with the ball in his hands with no room to return that pick and they'll go on offense from the 21. A lot of quarterbacks have so much confidence that they can fit the ball in tight windows. How about the defensive player right here making an unbelievable interception, forcing the turnover, big play, big momentum swing. Oh man, I got very lucky with that. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out. And that was... Yeah, Ooh, blocking was pretty bad there. All right. Let the clock run out. We'll go in the fourth quarter. Plowing it on until they find an answer. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Good burst. Keep going. This guy's been so much fun to watch all year long. Every single week, he's making defenders look silly trying to tackle him. With that last play, now over a thousand yards rushing on the season. All right, so let's keep doing this. 37, it's first and 10. Looking for a gap. It's five. Whoa. Not a whole nice. Lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. All right, so let's nice just keep running the clock down. First down. Positive plays. Positive yards. Hand the football off. Set up a good second down. No, we'll keep it. All right. Give to the running back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. All right, clock let it go down a little bit, and we'll get the motion going. They move the tight end all over. They'll keep it on the ground. They oh, right the, 
<laughs> right into the pile. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make Read sure you get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdowns. Nice. Ooh. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Well, he chews up yards. That was really quick, really decisive. Designed quarterback runs are, are very difficult to stop, and you can tell he's got some ability. All right, right at the middle. Plays. You can do this. Thank goodness they got him on the ground, and it wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. Ooh, get through. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Yeah, I know, I know we're rushing here, but I just want to rush it, get the first down. They'll run for it on third and short. Come on, get through. Nice. They got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And this drive feels like it's just gone on forever, right? The clock is just tick, tick, ticking away. The defense is aware that it's got to be frustrating because you just allowed another first down, fresh set coming up. You've got to do something to stop. Ooh, get through, get through. Nice. Ran right through the defender, and now he's still running. He's up to 90 yards rushing, and this guy's just having a tremendous season, leading the country in rushing. Notre Dame ready to go with another oh, first down. Ooh, that was, that was a hit. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you. Right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice All right, we're going to let the two-minute warning hit. Here and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. All right, same thing. Keep going. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down Ooh, the field. Ooh, ooh, nice cut. Beautiful. Got some room to the goal line. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And the stomping has commenced. They are finishing the deal, building the lead here in the fourth, and they are going to go to 7-0. With that last touchdown, they remain undefeated. What can you say about this offense? One of the most explosive in the entire nation. And they're coming in, I think, every week with the mindset that we're just going to outscore everybody. We are okay going into a track meet. And that's really what we saw in this game today. All right, so I think for the – if I end up getting the ball back again here after – hopefully if we make a stop, I'm going to switch my uh, – all my starters out. He'll return it. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent. Forget this day ever happened. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Make the stop. It's not. Let, don't let me get any extra points. Man, it's King. Pressure Beautiful. And there was no way to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. After the big first down sack, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got him Ooh, that was a hit. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Ooh, guy in the middle. Trying to get to it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Getting some heat. Fires and picked off. Nice. Good pick. On the return. Oh, am I going to take this? Inside the 40. Inside the no 20. way. Oh. He <laughs> 
Wow, all the way down to the one. And that's a really good job by the defense. Understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. All right. Let's, even though right right here on the one, we're just gonna take a knee. Just drain the clock in victory formation. For the, uh, I'm surprised it just it just does that. It just takes it out of the uh, suggestions there, but. No, it was a good game. It was like definitely a, a much better second half. Um, man, this yeah, obviously this game was was very close. All right, that should be it. We're gonna do one more knee. They'll line up for a second down play. And this one is just about in the books. The defense can stop the clock one more time as the offense takes a knee. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them an absolutely dominating performance. You got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening game. Kick. Well, like I said, I, I'm still working on overall practicing, obviously, coverage for myself here on defense, but still really enjoying the game. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just so happy this is out in general, right? I mean, for every football fan, especially you know, NCAA fan. So uh, with that now, obviously going to go ahead and end the video here. Let me know in the comments though what you guys think, especially if you have any questions at all. And yeah, I appreciate y'all for your support. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.